Hello Internet. Welcome to Placement Buddies. Today we will be discussing about Array. That's our lecture 2. So let's get started. So what is an Array or why do we need this? Let's say we are having n numbers of data elements starting from 0 to n. So we have to store such values in some particular variables to operate or to get some desired result so let's say we are having five numbers of data starting from one to five so how we will be declaring int a equal to one int b b equal to two int c equal to three int d equal to like this way fine so this will be very troublesome or let's say this will be inefficient way to declaring simulator types of data in n numbers of data elements or variables fine so here comes the solution is if we declare like uh, let's take a pen so if we declare like arn so what it will be doing is the compiler will be assigning some contagious block of memory so that we can store similar types of data over here so here first it is one then two like way up to n fine so <coughs> these are the memory blocks where we are putting some data elements so how you can say this is contagious blocks of memory see as you can see the memory location first is 1001 then 1002 then 1003 so it can be assumed that after putting plus 1 we will be getting the next element we will be getting the next element by putting some or some adding some values in with the offset value fine then in in our practical life it won't be like 1001 1002 there will be some random hexadecimal generated address fine so in 64 bit machine it will be like 1001 plus 4 as it uses 4 bytes of memory for in type of in types of data then after adding 1001 plus 4 it will be giving as 1005 fine so this will be giving me the next element so by this way we can get the next element in 32 bit machine we have to add 2 instead of 4 why because in in, in 32 bit machine in type of data uses 2 bytes of memory location and what is index over here index means some offset values by using which we can directly get the particular data element of that particular array fine let's say i am putting uh, let's say name as arr0 it will be giving as 1 and if i put arr0 over here it will be giving as 1 fine if i put 2 over here it will be giving me as 3 like this way so i hope you have got this point how actually array works now we'll be discussing about how we can declare an array as we have discussed earlier what is an array and how it actually works at memory level now we'll be discussing about how to declare an array in c or c plus plus language first we have to use a data type and then the name of that particular array which we will be using in our program then giving the size in braces or boxes then after giving an assignment operator we'll be putting some data elements from data element number 0 to number size minus 1 fine so let's have some example that is i have used some sort of arrays using int character float and boolean type of data first i'll be discussing about like i have used a static array over here fine by using a array name that is arr and by using some size that is 5 okay and then after giving an assignment operator i have used some data elements of int type 1 2 3 up to 5 using a comma separator over here after declaring i have put it a semicolon so that it can terminate this statement and then i have used arr 
character type of array and then I have used some characters a r r a y that is array by using colon as we know that in character we have to use some in a quotation fine then using a comma separator over here fine so then I have used an pointer type of variable to store some sort of data elements of size 5 by declaring it as null at initially it won't be pointing to any location after declaring we can use this array like using some loop we will be putting some values over here so we'll be seeing how to give user input in the next slide fine we can also use new keyword to look to assign some location like array as we have seen in previous slides that how to declare an array using some static data elements now we will be discussing about how to declare an array and get some user input data so i have declared a in type of array of size that is nothing but size of 5 then i have used a for loop for iterating through a whole index that is from starting from 0 to 5 with a increment size of step 1 then i have used c in or scanf function to get input on that particular location here in 0th location i am storing 9 and in next iteration that is first location or one, location 1 or index 1 it will be storing 7 then in index 2 it will be storing 1 and then in index 3 it will be storing 2 and then index 4 it will be storing 0 so you can say that i have used size but i have stored only fourth variable so as we have discussed earlier that the index size starts from 0 up to n minus 1 that is 0 to n minus 1 that is nothing but 5 minus 1 4 so i hope it is clear how we can take user input in a particular array fine so first step is declaration of an array then iterate using a loop till size of an array then put the elements one by one inside the array corresponding to the particular index i hope this is clear now we will be discussing about how to traverse all the data elements in a particular array this is quite similar how we have taken user input in our array fine so let's say i have <coughs> taken a size that is 5 and i have declared an array of arr size 5 and put some data elements that is starting from 9 7 1 2 0 up to 0 to n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 fourth element then i have used a for loop with starting from starting index from 0 to up to size with increment of step 1 then i have taken output of particular array with a corresponding index fine so i have used c c out for c++ or printf can be used for c++ and c both fine so let's dry run this code how it actually working so first entering into the loop that is i equal to size i equal to 0 then i have got the output as 9 then in the next iteration it will be of i equal to 1 then in the first index or the index 1 element is 7 now 7 is printed and index 2 that is 1 it will be printing as 1 and in the next iteration it will be of index 3 and the index 3 element that is 2 is printed likewise it will be printing up to 0 that is n minus 1th element that is 4th element of this array now we will be seeing some basic operations to perform in a particular array fine let's say you are given with a array and you have to calculate the size of that array now what you will do there are two methods how we can calculate this first using size of operator size of arr divided by size of arr arr zeroth element or any other index element we can use this is nothing but what is the actual size the array is acquiring in a 
in our RAM and then divided by the first element type that is in type of data or character type of data whatever the type it will be dividing the with this size so we will be getting the size of that particular array and then we can also get the size by using the pointer function so how can we get this by using asterisk ampersand error plus one this means the location of the last element minus the first element so it is very much intuitive that we will be getting the size of that particular array now how to get the element of particular index if we use the particular index in the boxes of that particular of that array we will be getting the array data element for that index fine there are some operations like deletion updation search sort 2d array we will be discussing in our coding videos with a hands-on practice tutorial so there are some discussions about array like advantages disadvantages and application these are mostly theory parts there is nothing rocket science to explain you so you can learn from this and you can read about this and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section so i will be discussing about in briefly arrays as arrays are contagious block of memory you can actually traverse the array in linear manner and the complexity will be of o n and uh, after the traversing of the element is kind of easier and the disadvantages are like if we declare an array in the starting of that program by using some fixed memory size it won't be altered or it can't be changed at the runtime fine so this is the main drawback of array we will be discussing in further lectures how to overcome this and like there are some shifting operation is costly these are the stuffs you can read from here and ask me if you have any doubt and then application array stores data element of same type of data arrays can be used for used for cpu scheduling you you will be learning in your operating system chapters and then used to implement other data structures like stack use heap hash tables also in some tree applications we can use the array data structure fine so in the next lecture we will be discussing about dynamic memory allocation how to overcome the static declaration of an array by using malloc calloc and reloc function so thank you so much for your time and you can review our tutorial in the comment section and give us your valuable feedback so study hard and prepare well all the best for your placement drives